Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, we bring you greetings from my house. <laughs> if you're returning, I appreciate you for returning. And hopefully you've already subscribed. If you haven't, please consider. Definitely please consider hitting that like button because that helps my channel. I'm trying to do a new thing since I've had to get rid of all my old church videos and stuff. So we're going to do traveling stuff. Let's try this. Um, so while I was in Istanbul getting my hair transplanted, and if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link right here for you to go check that out. Let's see all the gruesome details from that. Um, but while we were there doing that, we wanted to, we did an extended stay. And so this is recapping all the things that this wonderful place had to offer. My first video, which was of us coming from our hotel, staying at the Wings Hotel, and us visiting the shopping district. And if you haven't seen that footage, I will leave a link right here for you to check that out. Now, this is us making the right, because you can make a left from the hotel and go to the shopping district or make a right. We made the right, there's a pier there, and um, basically you walk through, there's a area where they are selling seafood and it's fresh seafood because they're getting it out of the pier. Now, because you see people actually fishing, so I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe this is what's making y'all smell. Anyway, warning, these people are very aggressive. These people being the people that are working at the restaurants, they're trying to get you in. So you have to avoid them like you avoid the people at the kiosk. <laughs> I'm talking about, hey, could you, look, here, hold this. They're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Are you American? Excuse me, hello, you look like nice hat. Anything to, to pull your attention. So you keep your eyes on the prize. trying to get to the city <laughs> so keep your eyes forward because they will pull you into their restaurant so we walk that little area you go up and then you're in the sun now, since we had surgeries we we're trying to get away from the sun so you can legitimately watch Galata, walk on galata bridge and go straight to Iminanu square but since we were trying to avoid we went back underneath so there's two sets where they have the restaurants and on the stairs going up or down, there are panhandlers, there are ladies there with their children trying to get money from you and children begging for money. So be prepared to come out your pocket. If you got a heart like me, I gave money left and right. Nonetheless, so there's two of those. It's about a 10 minute walk. When you come up and you're on the actual, uh, the ferry area, they have a place where you get tickets and they have little stands for you to eat things. In that area, there is a quote unquote mall that you go down. Since we're running from the sun, of course, we're trying to make sure we're underneath as much as possible. So we were underneath there. I did some video from that. It's not a lot to see. It's more like a, a, a fire sale, dollar store stuff. It's not a whole lot of something that is worth video. So walk through there as you come up the stairs from out of there. Then you come basically to Iminanu Square. And there it's a big area, cobblestone area. And the first thing you see is the big mosque. Yini Tani Mosque, the new mosque. Very beautiful on the inside. So I did some footage of that. From there, you come outside. There's some foot washing in the back. Oh, foot washing service. Come on here, somebody. So there's foot washing on the back end. From there, you go inside or go, you're still walking outside. There's a, you start smelling spice. They're different. Uh, people selling different things, but your focus is, again, keep your eyes on the prize. You go in, there's a metal detector, you walk in and it's spices, like spices, little spices, oils, candy, fruit, dried fruit, soaps that they use, but you, no deodorant. Um, nonetheless, you walk through there so you can get lost in this grand bazaar because they go from there to selling gold, selling Rolexes. Now this Grand Bazaar, it is the best place to get a knockoff. They have the best quality stuff. I got me some Balenciaga slides, great quality. So if you are really in uh, the market for this type of thing, go to Istanbul, seriously. You can go get all types of surgeries done to your face and your body and go, go do some good shopping. So check that out. So this, without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and y'all watch this and hope you will consider um, subscribing. Enjoy.
things in the turkey these are the spices that's one is the turkish delight that one is the, the tea we have a lot of kind of tea a lot of kind of the spices because in the turkey these are the very famous things these are the saffron saffron is the most expensive spices in the world the uh, lucky gold the one gram is 150 lira just one gram one gram just yeah. one gram these are the nuts these are the chocolates that's one of the mushroom chocolates. It's very famous from the Arabic people. So it looks are, really. Yeah. 
kind of tradition of Turkish lights. They're very famous in the Turkey. Also, it's like an art culture. All right. Dry fruits part, you are, you know, we are have a uh, with sugar dry fruits without sugar, without sugar. It has a apricot, figs. It's naturally dry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. These are the perfumes without alcohol. It's halal. Oh. And how old is this bazaar? 500 years, like that. Maybe more. And it's mainly just for the spices and all these things. Actually, is when the Ottoman Empire time, the Egyptian things in selling in this bazaar. So the name is Egyptian bazaar.
definitely like what we came in on. Because it is. Wanna go around and see if we can get in there? Jesus! 